Well, hello, welcome back. Uh, it's been a while since we worked on this WD, but uh, tonight we're gonna be putting the brakes uh, back in it. So if that's something that you're interested in seeing, stick around, cause it's coming up. All right, so since the last video that you saw me install the axle over here on the left-hand side, I've also rebuilt and installed the axle on the right. So both of those are in place and everything is ready now for the brakes to go in. Uh, so on the left-hand side, I've already installed those, and uh, now I'm gonna go through and just kind of show you how to do it over here on the right-hand side. I've got new springs to go in, and the spring that goes on the front, which is the smaller one, is part number 702-32-564. And then the larger spring that goes on the back is 702-22-501. And you can notice how much bigger those are compared to the uh, small ones here so anyway uh, I've got everything cleaned up I got my brake cleaned up over here on the bench and it is ready to go in the tractor I went ahead and cleaned out where my brake rod is going to go uh, with a tap I've cleaned those threads out and um, I've cleaned everything up and inspected my pads themselves in there and everything is good to go there so with that said let's uh, go ahead and get these picked up all right, so we're back over here at the tractor side. I'm gonna go ahead and grab the assembly and I'm gonna separate the back portion of the brake, which is the one with the little ears on it. You can see right here. And I'm gonna go ahead and slide that uh, just down into place here. Um, it's gonna wanna fall on in, which is fine. I'm gonna go ahead and just put my uh, uh, piece right here to hold it. Now I'm gonna slide in the front and you'll have to kind of separate everything. I'm gonna go ahead and turn that portion out so that I can see that from my brake rod. And then I'm gonna go ahead and put the two together. So they've got the little notches there on the side. I don't know if you can see it from there. Let's see. Yeah, right here, it's got the little notches on this piece that lock into the front or the back half of it so uh, once we've got those in place there's a better view of it so now the next uh, part is feeding through the actual brake pin on the bottom and uh, so i've got it setting right here i'm going to get some anti-seize and put on that so we don't have to deal with that at a later date and if we'd happen to pull these apart at some point so let me get that squared away and then we'll go ahead and get them installed okay i've got a, a light hanging in there and if you look right at the tip of my finger that is the brake pin you can see that coming through and now what we've got to do is line it up with the shoes um, so in order to do that i'm going to move around here to the front where i can work and i'm going to reach inside the hole in the bottom here and i'm going to get those two uh, lined up and we'll have to adjust this up a bit this is probably the really the most difficult part is just getting everything to get back in line it's not too bad once you get the first one started so I got the pin through the first one now the back one has slipped off up here. So let's see if I can get that back together. Yep, okay. Now I'm gonna slide, actually the whole assembly come off there. I think you can see there that it's gone through that. There we go. Okay, so it's got it through both of the right side pieces. So let me try to get a view looking up in the bottom here and you can see that slot in. All right, so we're looking in the bottom side here and here is our brake pin right there. And it's just gonna push through over to the other side. And I'm gonna have to move the uh, shoes just a bit to get it to go 
All right. All right, now that the brake pin is in place, we're gonna go ahead and put the uh, lock in. Sixteenths. All right, we got the brake and the pin in position now. All right, now we're going to go ahead and put our springs on. Like I mentioned earlier, the larger spring goes into the back here, and the hook portion actually faces up. And then once this pulls through, the end portion that comes through the housing over here will also be up. So you can push it in this way and then you can push it down past your housing. And then this whole mechanism is gonna move back. I, I like to leave this nut backed off and that will give me as much movement backwards for that bigger spring so that I can get it through uh, the housing here. And then if you've got a little pair of needle nose pliers, they work well. So I'm going to go ahead and get my spring started there. And I've got I've got a clamp on it right now. So I'm just gonna pull it through and up onto the housing here. And that, that spring was a little bit twisted. So that's why that's popped over to the side there. Okay, now we're gonna slide over and do the front spring. And the front spring, like I mentioned earlier, is the smaller one. Now, when you hook this one on, the big portion that goes here will go down instead of up. It's a little bit different than what the one in the back was. So just lock that in place like so. And then get your needle nose pliers unlocked and ready to roll. And now you can pull your tension back and get your spring started in the hole. And I'm gonna reach in there with my pliers again. And I'm gonna pull it through. And then where that's popped out, I'm just gonna slide it back over into the groove. And there we go. All right. So we've got that pretty much squared away. I can't set them yet until I get my brake rods and everything uh, in place. And I'll also have a set screw on the back right here that I'll screw in and set against that plate as well. Or the brake, backside of the brake. All right, so over here on the front, what I like to do is go ahead and get my uh, section lined up for my brake rod. All right, you can see the square piece in there. That's what your brake rod's gonna thread through and it needs to be twisted. So what I'm gonna do is just take a, I got a pointed piece here and I'm just gonna line it up into the threaded portion and I'm just gonna twist it. right there's the hole for the brake rod I've got that where it'll be set up so when I go to thread that brake rod in there it will be lined up properly and I don't have to 
find it. All right, so that's uh, about all I can do at this point until I get the, the rod that has the levers and everything reinstalled here. So anyway, that's the assembly of the brakes on this WD project I've been working on. Thanks for watching. Hit like, subscribe, share the video, and leave a comment below. Have a good day.